Kate and Prince William headed to Windsor's Guild Hall to meet volunteers and operational staff who were involved in facilitating the committal service for Queen Elizabeth II, held on Monday afternoon at St George's Chapel. These outstanding workers helped run the historic event smoothly and supported the crowds who gathered in Windsor to bid the last farewell to the beloved sovereign. The unsung heroes worked behind the scenes on the day itself and in the run-up to the service to arrange port bins, road signs and move flowers among other duties. This surprise appearance comes as all members of the firm are still observing the seven-day period of royal mourning. This means working royals are not expected to carry out any official duty until 8 a.m. on Tuesday, when flags on royal residences will stop being flown at half-mast. The Prince and Princess of Wales were welcomed by huge crowds gathered outside the Guild Hall. Read more, Mark Phillips angered by Anne's rumored relationship with Officer Kate and Prince William stepped out for a surprise appearance in Windsor, image, Getty. Prince William became the Prince of Wales on September 9th, image, Getty, royal flop, Harry and Meghan being frozen out of Hollywood as US turns on Sussex's Meghan and Harry don't have the charisma, dedication and charm needed to be A-list celebrities, a commentator has claimed. Read more here. For this unannounced appearance, both Kate and William continued to wear black outfits, with the princess donning a dress coat with prominent golden buttons. While the princess hadn't been seen in public since the committal service, her husband appeared on video at the Earthshot Innovation Summit held in New York on Wednesday. In his pre-recorded address, the heir to the throne said he was taking great comfort in your continued enthusiasm optimism and commitment to the Earthshot Prize and what we are trying to achieve. He also said the Queen would have been delighted to hear about this summit, adding that protecting the environment was a cause close to the late sovereign's heart. Kate and Prince William were welcomed by an adoring crowd, image, Getty, Kate and William aren't the only royals to have stepped out of their homes to thank those who provided support during the 11 days of national mourning and the day of the funeral. Princess Anne headed to Portsmouth Naval Base this morning to meet with Royal Navy personnel who took part in the funeral procession. As the Commodore-in-Chief Portsmouth, the Princess Royal thanked the staff for helping run the events linked to the Queen's funeral smoothly. This afternoon, the tireless royal will also travel to St. Omer Barracks, Aldershot, to visit and thank personnel part of the Royal Logistic Corps and Royal Corps of Signals who played a key role in providing logistical support for the funeral and other associated ceremonial duties. Don't miss royal fans fume as Prince Harry placed in second row, insight royal fans devastated as Charlotte bursts into tears so proud of you, report Anne and husband Sir Tim share no exchanges for key reason, expert, Kate donned a black dress coat today, image, Getty, Kate and Prince William live in Windsor with their three children, image, Getty, the 72-year-old royal is the colonel-in-chief of both corps. Prince Edward landed in Estonia on Wednesday afternoon to meet troops based at the Camp Topa military base, where he thanked military personnel for their continued service under the Queen's reign and their commitment to King Charles III as the new head of the armed forces. Tomorrow, he will be in Paderborn, Germany, to complete a similar task as he meets troops on deployment from the Royal Wessex Yeomanry at the Normandy Barracks. The Queen's death on September 8 reshaped the line of succession, with Prince William becoming the heir to the throne and his firstborn the second in line. The longest living members of the royal family, image, express, during his first speech as the new sovereign on September 9, King Charles III announced he had created his first son Prince of Wales, passing on to him a title he had held for decades. The monarch said, as my heir, William now assumes the Scottish titles which have meant so much to me. He succeeds me as Duke of Cornwall and takes on the responsibilities for the Duchy of Cornwall which I have undertaken for more than five decades.
Princess Anne meeting military personnel to thank them for their support, image, Getty, today, I am proud to create him Prince of Wales, Tywis Og Cymru, the country whose title I have been so greatly privileged to bear during so much of my life and duty. With Catherine beside him, our new Prince and Princess of Wales will, I know, continue to inspire and lead our national conversations, helping to bring the marginal to the center ground where vital help can be given. Prince Edward became 13th in line while his sister Anne is now 16th in line to the throne.